Hey, I'm Mark, and today's project, we're going to be hooking up solar to run a solar-powered nightlight for our chickens. <clears throat> we're going to be using a uh, deep cycle lead-acid battery. It's a gel field. I got this for free from a company that works on electric wheelchairs and stuff. Electric wheelchair has two batteries and when one battery goes bad they automatically replace both even though there's nothing wrong with it. This is about a 70 amp hour battery. I'm going to be running a, a little LED 4 watt light. It's a MR16 base and uh, you want to go with a red light, night light for chickens. Uh, a white light, chickens will spot imperfections on each other if they see a little red dot or something on their, their neighboring chicken, they're sleeping, they'll peck it. They'll start getting sore. So use a red light, they can't see it, and, um, and they'll sleep and be fine. The charge controller we're using is a little 10 amp, fairly inexpensive, $20. Real simple to hook up. It, it has a picture of a solar panel, positive, negative, to your bottom bus positive negative on the battery and then to your light. It also has a built-in photo uh, cell sensor that will turn itself on at dark and shut itself off in the morning and light. And you can set different controls if you want it to come on for two hours only after dark or however you want it. The solar panel is one I made myself. I build these frames and sell the frames in glass on the, the internet, have a website, and also eBay. This is gonna be a pole mount. Um, we also sell these kits, these pole mount kits for these frames, and also universal pole mount kits that will work on uh, your panel. It will simply just sit on the pole. It's a, it's a fence post. You simply adjust it south and angle it at the right angle for the right time of year. We'll get it uh, everything wired up. I'm going to keep all my controls, batteries, and everything on the outside of the coop. And uh, out of the weather, we uh, we hose down the inside of our coop every so often. So I didn't want to put anything on the inside and worry about it getting wet. All right, we're hooking up the positive side to the bus bar here. Just simple connection red for positive and black for negative all right we're hooking the positive wire to the battery it just slides in the little slot you unscrew the screw and then you slide it in the slot and you simply tighten it down it's got a little picture of a battery with a positive sign so you really it's a no-brainer really easy to do all right we got the controller hooked up uh, Solid green light means my battery is charged. And if this one is blinking, I believe, and the speed of the blink lets me know the charge level. So the faster it blinks, the closer it is to being full. And this button is used for test. So you can see the light is on. And I have it set on zero, zero has it the light coming on from dusk to dawn, which is what I want. All right, we got it all hooked up. You can see the wires going up to the charge controller, down to the battery. I just used some wires I had left over. It's only a three amps coming out of the panel and not even a half an amp going to the light. I just placed the light up on the shelf just sitting there so I can move it and unplug it and get a new bulb if I need and move it out of the way when I'm hosing off the inside of the coop. Well, the light came on about 15 minutes ago, just a little after dark. It's an eight watt bulb LED and uh, it is, it's way too bright. I turned the, the light the other way I'll have to get another bulb for it, maybe just a two-water or something. They don't quite need that much light. 
So I still have them in the brooder right now under the heat light anyway. But another month, they won't need that light anymore. So I'll have to order me a little two watt bulb. Appreciate y'all watching. Thanks.